Good morning, one and all. Thank you so much for joining us on this live webinar, uh, implementation of test management and test automation in DevOps. Today we are going to cover uh, the introduction testing in a DevOps culture, test management for both manual and automation, test automation, architecture diagram and a live demonstration will be provided by our testing and DevOps expert. And we are going to discuss integrating test with project management tools and also the CI tools and also uh, we are going to cover test automation reporting before going into the actual webinar uh, we'd like to uh, brief you about who we are where we are and what we do we are a global end-to-end -end IT solution provider and a consulting firm based out of Plainsboro, New Jersey. We are a 10-year-old company. Uh, our headquarters is in Plainsboro, New Jersey. And also, uh, we have a large global delivery center back in uh, southern part of India, that is Hyderabad. And even we have our presence in Europe and UAE as well. We are around 200 plus experts globally, including our consultants who are working with different customers across the USA and also we have been serving global fortune 500 2000 customers across the usa we are in 5000 and also we are sb wb mb uh, certified uh, new jersey based company and uh, going on to the core competencies of us uh, we are uh, helping a lot of customers with the application development maintenance and support cloud migrations data whether it may be uh, database data warehouse big data hadoop uh, advanced analytics and also the uh, CRM different CRM solutions ERP uh, he, as you see we are a Microsoft Golden Advantage partners and a SAP open ecosystem partners and uh, these are all our strategic partnerships uh, uh, as I mentioned uh, we are Microsoft Gold partner and SAP open ecosystem partners rest others we have strategic agency partnerships uh, with almost all these uh, giant vendors like ibm mulesoft amazon web services apg oracle salesforce and coming to our technology services uh, custom application development product engineering quality assurance testing and ops uh, it infrastructure support services and uh, uh, as I uh, mentioned, we have an offshore delivery center in Hyderabad, India. Uh, most of our uh, customers uh, have been uh, working with us uh, for the offshore resources and we have been serving them with both on-site and offshore. few of them uh, uh, like our offshore uh, resources. Why? Because the rates are very competitive and uh, the rates are low uh, as compared to the on-site. And also, uh, IT consulting uh, and staffing is also a core expertise of us. Uh, we provide resources for contract, contract to hire and full time uh, requirements. Uh, we are uh, helping a lot of customers for staffing, uh, staffing up uh, for their uh, projects. That's what I just want to uh, pause here and I just want to hand over this to Kishore, our Vice President Mr. Kishore. And uh, I would like to introduce our Vice President, Mr. Kishore, uh, who is along with me on this, and also uh, Ratnakar, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ratnakar, our DevOps expert also. Kishore, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, so thanks uh, for all the uh, information, Nick. So myself, Kishore, I'm the VP of IT Service Server, based in uh, New Jersey, and uh, I handle the uh, various client accounts in terms of understanding their business needs and helping them with uh, the services and solutions, focusing on the applications development, application integration, application support, and also with the focus of uh, QA and QA automation uh, with the DevOps and Agile practices. So that's what uh, you know uh, I do here at Chronix. So as part of this uh, webinar, so we'd like to talk about, uh, uh, let me share, uh, I think Nick, you can continue with the presentation. So I will just ask you to move to the slides. It's fine. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yes, Kishore, I have shared my screen. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
So coming to the, uh, so we're going to talk about the uh, test management in DevOps. So, uh, so before we get into, uh, I mean, we all know about testing, we all know about DevOps. So obviously testing has two aspects, you know, uh, manual testing and automation testing. And how do we integrate uh, these aspects into DevOps? Uh, because uh, even with the traditional waterfall, even with the you know agile practice, uh, QA testing is uh, you know uh, mainly uh, focusing on uh, making sure that the end product, whatever we uh, you know develop, is being tested thoroughly and uh, we meet all the you know acceptance criteria and be able to deliver. Uh, so I have Ratnakar here as well uh, to talk about, uh, he's a, you know, testing a, a SME, subject matter expert. He has hands-on experience with, uh, you know, uh, testing, test automation, uh, and the overall test management and introducing best practices uh, with the agile, uh, you know, development practices, as well as uh, automation, as well as DevOps, and integrating all these three together. And then identifying what are the, you, you know, uh, use cases for manual testing, what are the use cases for automation testing, and how do we really automate across the board uh, so that we can improve the productivity of the development team, we can improve the uh, overall you know, uh, accuracy and the verification of the software, uh, and also helping business to be able to uh, you know, improve the overall operations, because obviously the lesser defects, the, the smoother operations, even for the uh, you know, production support team, uh, with the automated testing, uh, in introducing uh, the unit testing, integration testing, system testing, regression testing. So it will be useful for all the uh, new products development as well as the existing products that are running in production with the enhancement changes uh, if you introduce automation uh, within the regression testing itself. So let it be desktop or mobile or APIs or web applications or uh, an integration between these enterprise scale applications or external facing uh, applications. So with that, I will uh, hand out to uh, Ratnakar and he will talk through some of these uh, you know, aspects. Hi Ratnakar, you can go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Kishore. Yeah, so thank you all. Uh, thank you for, uh, thank you so much for joining with us. So let me introduce myself first. So my name is Ratnakar Reddy. So I'm working in a senior resource in Chronics uh, uh, for the past couple of years, I'm having experience in DevOps and uh, implementing uh, microservices architectures and uh, implementing DevOps for uh, a different type of like, uh, development activities. And uh, so, okay, yeah, that's all. So I'm sure we all have a wide and rich experience on implementing and truly eventualizing across, agile across our organization. So with that hope, uh, let's start the webinar topics. Uh, Naveen, uh, can I take the screen uh, if you don't mind? Yes, yes. I'll make you as first. Yeah. So yeah, we are going to discuss about uh, testing in DevOps. Uh, culture, how uh, testing, continuous testing will happen, and what are the advantages, the test management and test automation. Yeah, little or picture about the, that live demonstration. So uh, let's start from. Uh, so yeah, let me give you some uh, quick introduction about DevOps. So why DevOps and uh, all this? So uh, DevOps, the homologation of development and op operations teams. So it's organizational approach that enables faster development of applications and easier maintenance of existence and deployment. So by enabling organizations to create a stronger bonds between uh, dev and operations and other stakeholders in company. So DevOps promotes start shorter and more controllable iterations through the adoption of best practices like automation and new tools. So DevOps is not a technology, so, but it covers and everything from organization to culture and process and tooling. And uh, actually, initially the Devo, uh, steps usually in DevOps is including continuous integration, continuous delivery, and real-time monitoring, instant, re instant response, and uh, collaboration of platforms. So, yeah, so, 
so actually uh, for the past few years devops adoption like devops adoption is growing rapidly so according to recent survey also it is uh, double uh, investments also so the forcing driving devops adoption including enterprise investments and uh, software driven innovations and uh, adoption of microservices based architectures and also associated development methodologies increased investments of ctos and ceos in collaborative and automated application and the operational processes so yeah this is all about the quick introduction about devops uh, so continuous testing so testing in devops culture so continuous testing so continuous testing in devops is a software testing type that involves testing the software at every stage of software development life cycle the follow the goal of continuous testing is evaluating the quality of software at every step of continuous delivery process by taking early and uh, by testing early and testing up the continuous testing process is devops involves stakeholders like uh, developers devops engineers qa engineers and operation system the old way of testing was hand off centric and the software has handed over handed off from one team to another team so a project would have a definite team development team and qa phases the qa team always want more time to ensure the quality right so the goal was that quality should be prevail over the process schedule however the business wants fast delivery of software to the end user the newer the software is the better it can be marketed and increase the revenue potential of the company right so the hence uh, a new way of testing was evolves the, the reason so continuous means un, um, undisturbed testing done on continuous basis in continuous devops process the software changes continuously moving from development to testing and testing to deployment the code is continuously developed and delivered and tested and deployed so for example whenever a developer checks the code in source code map source code server like jenkins so we'll set a uh, few unit tests or executed through jenkins through a continuous process if the test fails the build is rejected the, the, the developer is notified if the test is failed a uh, developer will be notified if the build is passes the test it is deployed in performance or like some other for a qa servers for a exhaustive and functional and low test whether it may be a different type kind of testing will be done after it is deployed so the test will run in parallel and if the test pass the software is deployed in production so yeah this is all about uh, continuous testing so the reason of continuous testing that one day is a continuous testing so the test management so test management is more important in continuous testing like we need to hand we need to have a dynamic test cases and uh, execution process should be more robust so in traditionally qa organizations use a variety of ad hoc methods to manage their testing like they are maintaining uh, test cases in excel sheet and uh, maintaining requests in requirements in some document what documents so automation testing is done in a variety of tools and uh, depending on the platform and uh, the language being tested usually these tests will not report back its result in any central way the result this is a problem actually so all these things lead to some challenges like uh, the challenges are like so using some old adapt methods so the these are challenges like i can uh, give you a few challenges the problems we are facing with the old methodology using some uh, old methodology so there is there is no visibility between test cases and requirements and defects how do you know when you truly done so when you truly done with the testing so so there is no central way of resulting right so we obviously we don't know when it is done so that is one thing so measuring progress and productivity during during testing is time consuming and very difficult so it's hard to share information across the project and get real time metrics regarding the quality of the system being tested so this is also one reason 
so there is no central repository of test results for all the sources so both automated so like for automation and manual so we don't have any central repository to share the results to uh, everyone so but we can achieve these challenges by adapting some test management tools any test management tool, all test management tools of some similar kind of uh, uh, features so some we can achieve uh, some challenges i can tell you a few so create edit like creating a test cases and editing test cases execution of test cases we can achieve robot like uh, some dynamically using test management tools so managing text activities using it's using test management tools uh, managing this test activities is very easy so the most important thing is mapping test cases to a requirement when you plan some sprint and they, you create some tasks, uh, story items, and everything. But then you can also map uh, the same time you will create test cases. So you can map those test cases. So it's, uh, yeah, I'll tell you more about, uh, you will see uh, the live demonstration. You will get a full understanding of this mapping test cases with requirements. So link, uh, like mapping defects also. So mapping defects with test steps while executing test cases also, if you, if you will find any issues, if you will find any defect, you can simply create and link this test step, step with the uh, test case, like the devils actually. So, and the, yeah, the personal dashboards, a very clear metrics you will see every time. So full customizable workflows and PE values. So more important thing is we can able to integrate uh, with project management tools. Yeah. Am I audible to all? Can you please anyone come down? Yeah, yeah, everything is good, Ratnakar. So, I mean, as people are joining, we need to accept them. I mean, admit them. So, don't worry. I will, I'm taking care of that. So, go ahead with the conversation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is all about test management tools. By I mean, like um, using old methodology, some ad hoc methods. So we are facing a lot of challenges with execution test cases and the mapping requirements. Yeah, this is all about. Uh, I'll. Uh, do uh, some live demonstration you will get complete complete understanding how can we manage these test cases and uh, with like manual test case and automation test case and with the requirements so yeah so test automation so especially it is the, uh, when it comes to devops uh, the teams those who are looking to adapt test automation to automate the testing within CI/CD process Keeping manual and automated testing sync can be a challenge, definitely. Those who are looking for automation, adapting automation. So in CICD, keeping and like manual and automation tests are sync, it's a bit challenge to sync these two kinds of things, two kind of things. So fortunately, uh, right tooling can alleviate many of these challenges and give you a level of insight to your testing cycle that you can never thought possible actually. So we can achieve this by integrating test automation directly into Zira. Like if it's a project management tool, Zira, yeah, we can, I, I would say it's Zira. Integrating test automation directly into Zira and extend your existing workflows and manage and execute, analyze your automated and manual testing within Zira. So yeah, so this is all about test automation. <laughs> So yeah, this is also very important. So integrating tests with the project management tools. So th the reason and advantage of integrating tests with project management tools, management tools is we can map test cases to a specific requirements. If you're creating any requirements, if you're creating any sprint and you will create tasks and requirements and features. So in that case, we can map our test cases directly to our requirements. So this is advantage of integrating tests with the project management tools. And uh, the more importantly, once you've done execution, once you've done test execution, so the result will be automatically uploaded into a Zira after test execution. So this is a very uh, uh, good advantage by using some 
project management test management tools with the project management tools because you will see a results of every time whenever test is done the if you find a requirement and then the requirement itself you will see a results of the executions and if it's pass or fail and uh, you can manage and execute and analyze your automated and manual tests runs in inside c right sir so this is a reason of uh, integrating tests with project management tools okay yeah the ci tools uh, this is also very important so if you are in ci ct process you are running with automation test cases so it's a bit challenge like uh, uh, if the deployment is done in somewhere some environment you you need to start automatically your uh, automation whether it's a regression or whether it's smoke so these automation script will be executed automatically and also these results should be updated in some management tools and also in zira itself because it's a project management it's yeah. a, once it is done and there zoom meeting you link about the chat or shall i don't know yeah so this is all about integrating test with uh, ci tools means we are integrating our automation scripts in some ci tools because whenever deployment is happening somewhere so we need to start a type of test case whether it's a performance or whether it's a functional whether it's a, any kind of test it should be executed after deployment so then the results will be uploaded into somewhere like uh, test management or so some centralized way of uh, the we have some own specific if you have any resulting way of like the um, like i can say yeah project management tools so let me uh, yeah this is all about uh, tools so yeah let me go to some architecture some this is i i'll try to explain so the idea behind this so we have a existing sprint and a existing some regression to test cases test scripts i can say so if you are planning a new sprint in zira so you will create a task for developer as well as a test engineer so then the developer he will start his work and and the uh, and also well as well as uh, tester also will start uh, some works i'm using here uh, test trail test trail is a test management test management tools here we can create a test cases and test runs and test distributions so i'll uh, you will see uh, 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 you will see in live demonstration how test trail will work with this kind of uh, environment so a developer will start his changes and uh, he'll submit like uh, he will develop his future and uh, check in his code so then the continuous integration i'm using here jenkins the jenkins will take care of deployments so the future will be deployed in some server so once it is deployed so we should have some so whatever the regression test case i am having i'm having i will execute these test cases once uh, the future is deployed in some server so it is deployed and it is tested the regression test will be executed so then it will report back to a test trail automatically whether it's automation also automation results also will be updated up, uploaded in test trail itself as well as the re, uh, whatever the regression test results will be uploaded in test trail as well as zira so this is the idea actually so yeah so once the regression is done so if you are uh, whatever the test cases you are planned for this sprint first manual uh, test cases so it's like uh, the tester also uh, the parallel with the development team the tester also created a test cases in test trail manual test cases because it's a first sprint sprint identity right once it is done then only we can automate uh, if it is a stable so whatever the manual test cases we have uh, the lead will take care of uh, creating execu executions so then the tester and he will create a test executions and he will assign to some 
uh, specific uh, test engineers though then they will execute test executions so then uh, after execution so the result will be automatically uploaded uploaded in zira itself automatically so then if based on the results and based on the requirements and based on the future we will start automating whatever the stable features and then using some automation tools then we will add those test cases automation test cases also into so existing regulation so because the suit is all always updated with the the more the future is coming the more the test uh, scripts also updated to a regression tool whether it's a regression or whether it's smooth whether it's a what kind of thing so this is all, all about architecture and uh, let me uh, give you a live demonstration i'll start with from uh, azira i'll create some uh, uh, story items the parallel with i'll create some test cases and you will see once i one one once i execute those manual test cases so result will be automatically uploaded okay let me uh, do that one share my screen so ratnakar apart from manual you will also execute the automation test case as well right Did yes 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 okay so i think you are able to see my screen right yes yes so this is zira so the thing is i'll create one story first story open up some story whatever so i just created one story yeah the story item in number is tc 61 the story is created the parallel with like i for example if you are planning a sprint you will create some stories right so i will assign this story to some developer the same time you will the tester also will be assigned with is what like he need to create a test case to test this functionality of this uh, story or future or any so developer uh, we will we have just created a story and assigned to some developer so then the tester also will be assigned to uh, create test cases so let me create one test case for uh, to test that uh, specific story so i'll create one simple test so you can you see this is a actually so this is a test trail uh, dashboard so you will see graphs and uh, you have a test run test results and test suits and test cases test suit is a collection of test cases and you can add some subscription subsections uh and uh, the subsection c you can see uh, the sprint one and the sprint one is having regression test and the system test cases as well as i'm just organizing like this so you can add a number of section subsections and you can add a number of uh, test suits whether it's a smoke testing whether it's a regression what kind of uh, say okay so let me create one test section demo section demo section is done so i'll add one test case what is a demo test story is created so let me go to that one so i just created a story right what the tc one so i am creating test case to test this functionality to test this story to c61 so that's why i'll uh, i'm just saying this is uh, uh this test case is related to a story of uh, tc61 
this is external. So let me add some preconditions. Save. So yeah, once development is done, so he has like uh, deployed his code in some environment. So then my lead will create one test executions, test runs to test that uh, whatever the story has developed, we need to verify through test cases. So, right. So then for that, I'll, my lead will create one test plan. So using manual, manual testing section. So specific test cases, I can select where is my test case, demo test case. This is my test case I just created, just say, okay. So if the lead is done his job and he just created test execution and he just assigned to some user. Let me assign myself first. Assign it to me. Update. So you see, I am having my uh, test execution here. So my lead has assigned some test execution uh, to test uh, specific uh, user story. So let me execute this one. So before that, uh, you see there is no the nothing is here. Just a minute. Okay, let me execute one. So I'll just saying it is passed. Passed. If you find any defects, you can create defects also. You can link defect also. Adding test results. So let me go to Zira. So I'll just refresh. See, the story has created and you can see my test case is here and the results are here. The story and the results. Once I execute my test execution in test trail, the results are uploaded in test trail as well as Jira project management tool as well. Here also. So this way we can manage our manual test executions and uh, yeah, maintaining these test cases and executions is very easy with my management tools. So this is all about manual testing. So what about automation? We are running with a lot of, uh, like we are, if we are running uh, hundreds of regression test cases. So you need to, the once the execution is done in some pipeline, so you need to update all those results in, uh, project management tools as well as a uh, test management tools because you need to see the results uh, uh, all these results test execution results or uh, whatever the, those uh, like whatever the test cases that are executed in uh, CICD pipelines so let me uh, so let me show you a few test cases that I have just a few simple test cases these are test cases. Actually, these are test cases in GitHub also, source control. So the test suit, I am having a regression testing also, but I don't have any test cases right now. So let me simply execute these test cases. This let me I just created some job and Jenkins. So let me execute this one. So once I execute, once I exec the execution is done, uh, all my test cases that all my scripts that are uh, in my uh, ID, my local, those test cases are uploaded into uh, test management first. All these test cases are uploaded into test management. 
once it is done i should see my test cases here because i right now i don't have anything once it is done it is running some test it is open navigate to some test tests are done so we success so results are uploading so results are uploading into my uh, test management tools let me go to this is done let me go to here let me refresh again see i have two test cases that are in my uh, uh, local actually these are automation test cases and executed uh, from ci cd so right, firstly uh, these two these test cases don't have any uh, mapping between a requirement so let me map this one so in the reference field you just need to provide a reference number reference reference means uh, uh, you can take it as a bug or a story or uh, any defect or a sub task so i'll just provide this here, this one this this is actually same one this is 61 i'm already i'm already having one test case let me give it to us pc 61 the yeah mapping is done let me refresh see now i can see uh, two test cases and the status of the test cases the story has been mapped with the two test cases one is automation it is coming from automation it is having some scripts and this is manual test cases so this is uh, all about uh, automation uh, managing automation test cases in test management tools with the uh, project management tools so the reporting and uploading uh, results in the dynamic way once uh, execution is done in ci cd so yeah so so far i have done so many things uh, any questions from anyone welcome Uh, sir, uh, Ratnagar sir. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, Ratnagar sir, uh, could you please go through that architecture? Because um, here I understood the manual and uh, uh, okay. So how we are in this space? Can you please explain? Because uh, this is a very nice process you are giving me clear because I am a new in day ops. Mm -hmm. so uh, uh, so i really uh, need to know ki whatever we uh, we are doing on reliable uh, activity mm -hmm. real time activity in this architecture where we are so yeah. can you please explain so it will be very uh, easy to understand you mean uh... I, uh, because manually you done you map it automation yes. you uh, do uh, done you map it so uh, we uh, so uh, in architecture uh, where we start and uh, what we did uh, that real time scenario could you please so it will be very easy to e easily we can understand the how uh, project management tool are helpful to do because we we are always doing the test cases in excel sheet ma map in uh, tfs or something uh, in uh, hplm execution yeah. run something like that but this is a totally it is a project management we are doing we know our role exactly 
Yeah. But uh, here in architecture, how it will be fitted? Because this terminology is new. People know the uh, basic of fundamentals, but in this architecture, how they can fit? That is very important, sir. Thank you, so, sir. Thank yeah, you. Thank I am you, very thank, happy, sir. Thank you. So the thing is, so if you are planning a sprint, uh, you will create some task for uh, developers. Then you will create some stories, right? You know the stories. So at the same time, uh, the testers also will be assigned with the test case to analyze to create a test cases, right? So yes, yes. So preparing test cases or so preparing test cases in uh, like writing test cases in test management, we know that uh, requirement uh, numbers, right? The right. Sprint. So yes. simply we can map from there itself. Yes. So it is completely map. So the another thing is, so the mapping is done. But while executing, if you find any issue, like defect, okay. so in the some step, so that also can be possible. While so in test rail also while executing also you can pro by providing a results in test rail while executing a test case you can create a defect and you can link them to a test case. So this is the process. So then you will have a test case. And it is verifying some future, the requirement, and it is having some defect and defect also having a test case that has been mapped here. So when it comes to automation, yeah, we need to map manually because we have hundreds of test cases and uh, every test case has some uh, like uh, ideology to uh, verify and validate a specific feature, and the specific functionality. So we need to map actually. Once the te all tests are uh, automation scripts are auto uploaded into uh, uh, test management, so we need to identify which is and which is related to uh, which one. So then we need to map. If you find any defect, you will write. You are writing some uh, script, uh, test script to verify the defect. Uh, yeah, defect has been created. You know the defect number, right? So the defect number you can just simply provide in uh, test automation script. Actually. Uh, uh, we don't need to go to uh, test rail and uh, edit a test case and provide uh, this uh, defect number. We can do from uh, uh, Jenkins also, the continuous integration, some writing some pipeline code and uh, taking the defect ID and uh, while creating tests or uh, scripts in uh, uh, like uploading this test case, like uh, test case in, um, what can I say, uh, test rail. So the test, case is created in test trial so with uh, created defect did i answer your question uh, uh, so yes sir yes, another question uh, so every story or user story or a feature has acceptance criteria right yeah so how yeah. do we validate that acceptance criteria so again as the test case i mean uh, you mean automation or manual testing either one of it yeah either one of it so we need to map uh, like uh, we need to uh, create uh, acceptance uh, test case automation uh, scripts so yeah the same way uh, all these ones are uh, execution like once a deploy the feature has been deployed in some server so these automation script will be executed and uploaded into uh, test rail and results will be published to a specific requirement the acceptance criteria so yeah, the results will automatically, whatever the acceptance criteria, like whatever the testing we are doing on that section, the we can upload a cucumber results also because BDD results will be helps helps in uh, acceptance criteria. So in that case, we will write some cucumber test case uh, using BDD. So yeah, the same process will come and those results will be uploaded into Jira with uh, specific to that item at the requirement of future. Okay, so this works well in QA, but how about we move to UAT or staging and we run the same test cases again to validate, you know, before moving to production. So how do we manage this, the entire test management uh, in multiple environments? Because the same set of code we are running in each environment and validating again as the test cases, right? Yeah. So uh, when it, uh, when it uh, as an automation, we need to create a separate builds, actually, the test builds in okay. Jenkins or uh, continuous integration. So yeah. 
uh, we are there we are creating some uh, specific trigger points whenever deployment is happening some specific environments we need to we are starting only a few uh, like specific automation scripts only related to that build so if it is a development if it is testing we are running all test cases all manual and uh, manual will be done manually and automation will be executed automatically if it is okay. staging yeah we are executing some spoke or like some based on the build actually i can say the based on the jobs in jenkins we can configure uh, which is uh, where it is done and uh, when it is done and what need to be done at a specific point okay thank you that's all the questions i have i have one question um, is it possible to integrate the uh, atc tools with aws yes uh, atc tools means uh, in your place like uh, jira or uh, bitbucket yes of course it is possible actually so can we run the test cases uh, from there for aws uh, development you mean virtual machine some specific yes, yes we can possible because uh, see uh, when i am using jenkins so here you can see i'm just using my own uh, master node we can create a number of agents and nodes and we can node means some uh, specific area like vm or some environment because if you are executing test cases one set of test cases uh, uh, in your local machine it is not possible to you don't have a space to uh, do your work while executing these test cases so that's the reason so using jenkins we will create a nodes and uh, we will configure all uh, yeah so automation uh, testing will be uh, all the scripts will be executed and some specific vms whether it's uh, azure with its uh, aws okay so, thank you yeah any more questions Yeah, I think it's silence is there now. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, sir. Should... yeah, thank you. Thank you all. So I think I'm just hand over to hand over to Panik. Thank you, Ratnagar. Thank you. Thank you, Ratnagar. Thanks for this wonderful demo. I and thank you all for joining us. Hopefully, uh, we'll be uh, touch base with you uh, with the presentation that we just shared. and uh, hopefully we can uh, follow up uh, we can schedule a follow up meeting to discuss on any of your current or upcoming initiatives with the testing or devops automation yeah Thank and also with the, and also as part of uh, reviewing you know specific uh, requirements related to your specific environment or business so we can do a free assessment to you know uh, to do the due diligence on your existing tool sets the teams and the kind of technology for the applications and then uh, we can be able to come up with a plan uh, to improve upon or implementing these practices you know agile devops uh, automation testing test management so all these four into you know one umbrella as part of our team so yeah so as we reach out to each one of you individually then uh, definitely we can talk about those aspects as well so if you're interested please let us know uh with the individual uh, you know uh, business role manager who is following the thing okay so thank you all for attending thank you all thank you all happy friday have a good weekend